So from the previous video, hopefully you saw the point that we really don't know at runtime what this random number is going to be. Okay, we could sometimes get a cow, and sometimes we'll get a pig, and sometimes we'll get a donkey. You know, this time I got a donkey. Last video I got a donkey. Looks like I'm getting a lot of donkeys. It makes you wonder how random your random number generator <laughs> really is. Oh, a lot of hee-haws. You know what? Oh, I know why. I'm not seeding my random number generator. We need to seed it with time uh, zero. And if you don't know what this means, just go look up seeding random number generators. And, of course, I need C time. So a pound includes C. I think it's C time. Yep, C time. Time zero. Okay, good. So now we should get some random, random. Okay, this time we got a cow. Whew. Cow's a little worried about that. All right. So let me show you how the compiler resolves all this. First of all, we have a animal class. And I'm going to use my famous uh, Microsoft Paint, best tool ever. Bring it into the screen here. Drag this out. All this white space here, let's pretend all this white space is RAM. All right, and some of that RAM makes up the heap, some of it makes up the stack, some of it makes up the loaded program image, so on and so forth. Well, since Animal has a virtual method here, in fact, I'm going to add another. Let's make Animal a little bit more interesting. I'm going to add void, I don't know, sleep. And it's not a virtual function. Sorry, I keep saying function and method interchangeably, and uppercase S convention is lowercase s. Um. Void sleep and then virtual void. Oh, what other things do animals do? Let's say walk. Okay. All right, so I have two virtual functions here. And I have one non-virtual one. In fact, the non-virtual one I'll move down here. Okay. So here here we go. Let's, let's hopefully we can get through this. For every type, key point number one, for every type that has virtual anywhere in it. Okay. And what I mean by that is cow, cow really doesn't have virtual anywhere in here, but it inherits from animal, so there is a virtual. So anywhere in the inheritance tree, as long as there's one virtual, we need a V table. Okay, key point number one. Key point number two, there is a different V table for every type. Not for every instance of every type, but every type. Okay, so let me let me see if I can illustrate this with some very poor handwriting, but it might work. It might work. Notice we have in the code behind this Microsoft Paint, we have four versions of make sound. So I'm going to come up here. If this will work, yep. Okay, get the pencil, and we're going to say this is make sound for cow. That's what the C means, cow. All right, and then here is all the code for cow make sound, all right? And then I'm going to make, uh, well, we have, what other functions do we have? We have code, we have walk, okay, so here's cow, colon, colon, this is walk, okay, oh my gosh, it's a good thing I type more than I write, okay, sorry for the, uh, the best I can do with this tablet thing here. And then um, we have sleep, all right, so here's sleep, it's still a cow function, I wonder if I increased my line size, if I'd have any better luck, or maybe I'll just make a point out that I'm really bad. Okay, sleep. Here is sleep's code. You know, and actually, sleep doesn't really have any code, but pretend it does code. Um, and then we have we have cow makes sound, pig makes sound, donkey makes sound. Okay, so oh, did I say cow? I meant animal here. Oh, I'm so sorry. Animal, animal animal. And then here's cow make sound. There's the cow make sound code. And then uh, we have pig make sound. So pig make sound. And here's the pig make sound code. And then we have the donkey. Donkey colon colon make sound. And here's the donkey make sound code. Okay. So all these different functions and implementations. We have them out in the program image in the uh, operating system. All right, so we need to set up some V tables. Okay, there's going to be a V table for animal, a V table for cow, one for pig, and one for donkey because of the presence of these virtuals. All right, so let's do animal first. So animal, here's here's animal's V table. First of all, how many entries is going to be in the table for animal? 
All right. Well, animal has one, two, three functions, and that's it. So there's going to be three entries. But it only, the V table only stores addresses for the virtual functions. All right. Sleep is non-virtual, so the compiler can resolve sleep. It doesn't need to delay till runtime to do that. Um, uh, so really, our V table only has an entry for the make sound and walk. So for the make sound, so this is animal. Okay, and for make sound, when we call make sound, we need to this this is going to be the address of animals make sound code, the very first instruction there. Okay, and then we need uh, walk. All right, here's walk, and this is going to point to the address of animals walk first instruction right there. Okay, so this is the V table for animal. All right, let's look at cow. Well, cow, cow really, well, it has a make sound and a walk, same thing. Okay, so cow, here's cow's V table. There's going to be two entries. Okay, one for walk and one for make sound, and we're going to call this cow. All right, so make sound, well, what, what, what of all these functions, where is make sound going to point to? Well, it's going to point to to its own version of make sound. See, it overrides make sound here. So, so it's going to point to, where's cow's make sound? It is up here. It's going to point to this first instruction there, first line of code. All right, and then walk, well, it doesn't override walk, right? So it's going to point, this walk is going to point to, if I can do it, I guess I should use different colors, but its walk is pointing to this walk, which is an animal. All right. Now, just for fun, I'm gonna the pig. You know, the pig has a make sound here. Let's do void walk as well. I'm gonna override walk. So that's gonna add some more code up here. It's gonna be, oopsie. Let's uh, control Z that. Here's pig walk a. Thank you. Walk two colons. Here's the code for pigs walk. All right. So the V table for pig. Still going to have two entries, one for make sound, and these are just addresses, the places out in memory where the code resides. So the make sound here for pig. Uh, let's see, well, does it override make sound? Yeah, it overrides make sound, so it's going to point to pigs make sound. And its walk, though, its walk, instead of pointing to the animal walk, it overrides walk. I just typed that in there. So it's going to actually point up to here. Ooh, all these pointers. Alright, and then I want to do what's the last one? Donkey. Alright. Donkey. We'll do him quick. Donkey. Donkey. Alright, and then when I call donkey's make sound well that better that better call donkey's version of make sound. Okay, so donkey dot make sound or arrow, I guess. And then uh, walk well, donkey doesn't override walk, so that's actually going to point back to all the way over. Sorry, they crisscrossed the lines. Where is animal walk? Up and over. You want a good trip. So it looks like a lot of these are pointing to walk there. Animals walk. Oh, all these addresses, all this confusion. Okay, so let's go over here. Back to Visual Studio, and I'm going to mess around with this a little bit. Um... Let's let's F10 so we can step through this. F10 random switch ran three. It looks like this time we're gonna get a donkey. All right. So when when we create this donkey, all right, going back to our where's my paint? There we go. So here here's more RAM. I said all this white space is RAM, right? So let's pretend like this is our heap area. Okay. When I say new donkey, I'm gonna get a donkey. Um, and then if donkey had data members, you know, an int, a char, a bool, whatever, they just, you know, here's all the data members, and donkey would be as big as it needs to be to hold all the data members. But the first four bytes, implementation specific, but generally I've always seen it be the first four bytes, is the pointer to the V table. Well, since this data here represents a donkey, which one of these four tables should this pointer point to? Well, hopefully it's, it's obvious it should point down to the donkey v table okay so when i turn around and i say okay donkey f10 make a sound 
Oh, look, there's some addresses. You see that? There's a function address right there. Anyway, it has to go, okay, make a sound. Well, that makes sounds virtual, so let's jump to the donkey table. And it looks like we need to jump to this address to make a sound. So we jump again, jump all the way here and start executing this code. Okay, let's 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 uh, run this again. I'm gonna F10, F10, F10. Hopefully we get a different animal. We get a pig this time. Okay, so here's here's a well. This is from the last invocation, but let, let's pretend that's still here. Here's a pig. Okay, so here you know, pig may have I don't know number of piglets and things like that down here. Some data members. Then these first four bytes, where is it gonna point to? It's gonna point to pigs v table. So when I say make sound here, that's F10, and right here we're gonna make a sound. Right? Where's it gonna go? It's gonna go. It's gonna go. Okay, jump to the v table, and that looks like we need to go to this make sound, which is pigs version of make sound. Very good. Okay. Now if I came over here and I said, you know what? Animal walk. Okay, let's scroll back up here. In the case of uh, uh, a cow and a donkey, all right? If I had a cow and a, don a donkey, and we go to this this table here, we'll walk. Both of them are going to end up. See, cow ends up in animal walk, and uh, donkey also ends up all the way over to animal walk. Okay, but then if I said, well, pig, you know, let's let's make a pig and call pig walk. Well, its V table is going to jump over to the pig's version of walk. Okay, because so you can kind of think of these V tables as glorified switch statements. Switch on the type. You know, depending on what type it is, is it a pig? If it's a pig, then jump over there. If it's if it's a cow, then jump over there and start executing that code and that kind of thing. It's, that's all it is. These are just addresses. These things in here are just addresses to 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 code. All right. Um, one other thing to take note of is notice, you know, say I have like tons of donkeys, right? All these are donkeys. They don't each get a copy of this V table. The V table is not going to change, even though I have several, several donkeys out here. All these donkeys are going to use the same exact V table. So you can think of this V table as being static, meaning there's only one copy of the V table for every donkey. So all of these donkeys. Boy, lots of lines going everywhere. You love this? All these donkeys are going to reference the same table. Well, how do they do that? They do that with this four-byte pointer, right? They all have a four-byte pointer called the V-pointer that points to the respective V-table. So key points, one V-table per type, as long as the type has virtual in there. Two, only the virtual functions are put in the V-tables. Three, there's uh, one V-table per type, and thus all the instances of the same type share that V-table. Four, the V table is only used in the case of of polymorphism. In this case, I'm doing pointers. You know, if I if I came around here, if I came around here and I said, uh, I don't know, uh, donkey D. Well, now I no longer have a pointer. I actually have an object. And when I say D walk, well, the compiler can see that walk. I'm calling walk on a D, which is of type donkey. So no virtual magic has to happen there. We don't have to push out the runtime. The compiler can just say, well, let's call donkey walk. Anyway, sorry my handwriting so poor. This is probably why I don't do as much diagramming as I'd probably like to do in my videos because this doesn't, uh, my handwriting is just not very cool. But, but I think it was necessary in this case to kind of see what's going on.